In a surprising development, Ukrainian military intelligence has reported the presence of North Korean officers in Russian-occupied territories of Ukraine. These officers, according to a source who requested anonymity, are reportedly in Ukraine to observe Russian troops and analyze the battlefield. This growing connection between Russia and North Korea raises new questions about the potential involvement of North Korean forces in the ongoing conflict. Despite this revelation, Ukrainian forces have not yet encountered North Korean units actively engaged in combat operations. As of the latest reports, North Korea's role appears to be limited to an advisory and observational capacity. This aligns with statements made by sources from the Washington Post, which noted that while North Korean officers are observing Russian forces, their direct participation in military actions remains uncertain. The presence of North Korean personnel in Russian-occupied regions could significantly influence the dynamics on the ground. One possibility that has emerged is that North Korean forces may be positioned along the border regions of Russia. This strategic positioning could potentially free up Russian troops from defensive roles in the rear, allowing them to be deployed on the front lines in Ukraine. Ukrainian intelligence officials have warned that this shift in Russian troop deployment could have serious implications for the conflict. It could have a significant impact, especially if we're talking about freeing up reserves within the territory of the Russian Federation itself, said a Ukrainian intelligence source. The presence of North Korean officers and their potential role in logistics and support could help alleviate some of the pressure on Russian military forces which have been stretched thin on multiple fronts. Ukrainian officials have also reported that North Korean military personnel, including engineers, have been overseeing the use of Pyongyang's weapons by Russian forces. Andriy Kovalenko, head of Ukraine's Center for Countering Disinformation, made a statement on Telegram regarding North Korea's involvement. According to Kovalenko, North Korea has already sent a limited number of military personnel, mostly engineers, to supervise the quality and use of North Korean weapon systems, such as the KN-23 ballistic missiles. While some of these military personnel have reportedly been killed in action, their role in managing the effectiveness of North Korean-made weaponry remains crucial. The quality of these weapons, however, has been called into question. South Korea's Ministry of Defense has acknowledged that the weapons provided by North Korea, including the KN-23 missiles, are of relatively low quality, which may pose logistical and operational challenges for Russian forces. The involvement of North Korean military personnel in Ukraine is still in its early stages, and the full scope of their role remains unclear. What is evident, however, is that North Korea's assistance to Russia could have significant ramifications on both the battlefield and the broader geopolitical landscape. As the situation evolves, it will be important to monitor how North Korea's presence in Ukraine may affect the balance of power in the conflict, as well as how Ukrainian and international forces respond to these new developments. The war in Ukraine is far from over. And this new chapter adds another layer of complexity to an already tense and unpredictable situation.